Forza Horizon 2's greatest moments sometimes come under the most unexpected circumstances. The Land Rover Defender is not exactly known for its speed or sportiness. Tchaikovsky isn't renowned for his racing game soundtrack contributions. But when Horizon 2 mashes these things together, something very, very good happens. I've played a lot of racing games over the past two decades. I've never played one where I was shredding through a vineyard at top speed in an agricultural 4x4 primarily designed to effectively ferry British farmers up wet hills. Certainly not with the 1812 Overture booming from the stereo. Is it slightly absurd? Yes. Is it fun? Absolutely. Forza Horizon 2 rebottles the winning formula established by its predecessor in 2012, albeit with a heaped tablespoon of new and improved ingredients. The eclectic roster of 200 plus lavishly detailed cars here ranges from cult coupes to hypercars and is the best lineup in the open world racing business. They all feel distinct from one another too, thanks to the Forza series' familiar top quality driving dynamics. What developer Playground Games has added, however, is a world far richer with variety and exponentially denser with rewarding racing and exploration content. The backdrop this time is a slab of land straddling the border of northern Italy and the south of France. It's wish fulfillment for Forza fans who have spent the last decade watching the hosts of Top Gear cocking about on the Mediterranean coastline every second week. It's a bigger area than Forza Horizon's small slice of Colorado, it's not a one-to-one -one recreation of the region, and it's still dwarfed by the likes of Test Drive Unlimited's life-size Oahu, but there's a lot more to do in it than in either of those places. The airstrip and abandoned freight yard are highlights, each offering hoon-tuned playgrounds to experiment in between races. These are great places to compulsively rack up your skill points, which are more useful here than the mostly meaningless skill points in the original Horizon, and unlock points you can trade for permanent and useful gameplay perks. Of course, Horizon 2's 700 or so driving events are also lucrative sources of skill points, from the highly enjoyable showcase races to class-based blasts across the countryside. The ability to drive almost anywhere is a big shift here. While many races take place on predetermined ribbons of road, plenty are on the rolling fields of Tuscany and Provence, the fast and frantic new cross-country races are probably my favourite race types. You're only ever a button press for being online too. Watching it sync your time of day and traffic to an online session and seamlessly transition you into it is a nice touch. The online racing was steady during testing, but the more gentlemanly single player remains my preferred environment. Like Forza Motorsport 5, Forza Horizon 2 uses AI driver profiles based on your friends list to populate your career races as well as the world itself, removing the need for a generic gallery of trash talking Euro jocks to function as opponents. Horizon 2 is generally better for it, but it's still too insistent on having us choose a design to immediately apply to the cars we buy. The result is a cavalcade of clip art splattered cars cruising down the French Riviera looking far more like the kind of off-brand Hot Wheels you'd see lining the racks at Toys R Us than sexy six-figure supercars. There's no option to explicitly disable the so-called driver tar designs in Horizon 2 like you can in Forza Motorsport 5 and it irritatingly spoils the game's aesthetic somewhat. It's a shame too because virtually everywhere else Horizon 2 has grown up quite a bit from the first. The menu overlays are more sophisticated, there are no microtransaction options muddying the economy, and the original Horizon's layer of men's lifestyle product spruiking has been given the flick. So long, Old Spice US muscle mash! The world itself is gorgeous, and while some of the shadows seem a little choppy, the frame rate is resolutely locked at 30, and thus delivers a dependable, smooth driving experience. As stunning as Horizon 2 looks during the day, it looks even better at night, as cars gleam under headlights and the fireworks start blasting. Horizon 2's new wet weather effects are easy in the eye too, but I can't help but notice that the static droplets don't streak across the windscreen or bonnet when at speed. The sound is as good as we've come to expect from the Forza series, with roaring engines and crackling exhaust overrun best enjoyed in any one of the game's lengthy tunnels. The first Forza Horizon set a new standard for open world racing games. Forza Horizon 2 has comprehensively updated that standard. The location is right, the car list extensive, the handling nuanced but accessible, and the visuals are excellent. Above everything, it's always fun. Whether you're in a ludicrous Land Rover race or sniffing out a hidden barn find, Forza Horizon 2 is what makes games like Test Drive Unlimited, the PGR series, Smuggler's Run, and Forza Motorsport great 
all crammed into a t-shirt cannon and fired into your face. It wears its inspiration on its sleeves, but damn if that's not a killer combination. For more on Forza and racing games, stick with IGN.